Good morning, YouTube. This is Chuck Reynolds. I want to thank you for coming by again. Uh, this is a strange device you're looking at here, but if you work uh, gold prospecting and you go out uh, on the creeks or the rivers, this is a tool that is almost a must. Um, and you can make it yourself is what's interesting. We've used this for years now. I don't know how, how many years, but quite a few. And what you're looking at here is a boulder sling. That's what this video is going to be about, how you can build this boulder sling. Relatively inexpensive. And it, it kind of looks like a uh, truck chain. And it does. <laughs> but it isn't. Uh, truck chains you can use for a boulder sling too, but they're uh, really pricey. And this is, like I said, relatively inexpensive. You don't have much here. You've got a few small chains here. Uh, that looks like uh, maybe 5 16 chain. And some uh, aluminum, oh, I'm sorry, half inch EMT conduit and quarter inch cable and a grab hook over there. Okay, with, uh, without further ado, I think we'll get on with it and uh, maybe show you how to make this thing. Be back. It's going to be about, it's going to be about uh, showing you how to build this same, this same uh, boulder sling. And I know there's uh, guys that uh, don't build these and don't use these, but uh, Say, well, you can use a, a truck snow chain, and you can, but any more, they're, wow, they're really expensive. And all we have here is, uh, this is some quarter-inch cable. Right here, uh, I've got a, a grab hook on this end that I can tie uh, through a uh, uh, shackle. Uh, and the rest of this is this chain. In between I give you a, a basket when you go to pull your boulder so it doesn't fall out uh, you get these centered on the, on the boulder and it won't uh, it won't roll out through the middle and it's bigger chains in the middle and then smaller chains on the end and this is just half inch EMT conduit uh, that I use as separators and this has pulled many 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 boulders out so you, you got that little bit and you got some uh, saddle clamps there and some over there under the tape and the only reason those are taped over there is that uh, they would hang up sometimes on the edge of the rock or in the boulder uh, if you're on bedrock it might hang up on the bedrock so I tape those but it's a pretty easy build and I've got some uh, a pictures and design that you can see and use if you like okay guys this is uh, it's hard to get this stretched out. I've stretched this so many times. I've kind of sprung this cable a little bit, as you can see by all the balling up here. It needs to be pulled again to kind of straighten it. But we're about four feet wide. So that's a big boulder that you can get around. And when these spread up on this end, this is uh, in the middle, I believe it's about 12 inches in there. So, and what I do is I lash up on this end, and I've got a couple different things here, but I've got this eye here that this cable with the grab hook on hooks onto the chain. Uh, so, and this can go uh, just lay on the ground like that, because I use this for different things for when I'm, when I'm doing a rock pull. Or I've got this monster 22,000 pound pulley we can hook in and uh, go back through with the hook and hook into your cable here. Take this back through around and hook it here and go through this because this splits like, like this. And then you just close it up and hook your, hook your hook through here and your cable goes through this end where the pulley is. And you can hook that around a tree or something or, or off the end of this hook and go uh, to a, a sling around a tree. 
but it's uh, it's really functional. You can do this for all kinds of stuff. I mean, of pulling rocks. I mean, different lashes where you can uh, use uh, like this this setup here or that that pulley. And uh, it's always done with a come along. And this is a little come along here, uh, single line. I think it's thousand pound. Double line. I think it's two thousand. Because my big one, I actually broke. Uh, we were doing a pool and it was a 4,000, we were double line pulling so it was 8,000 pounds and it was a big boulder and that's why my my cable looks like all these little curly cues here but uh, anyhow it worked and we got the rock out so that's it for this little bit and I'll show you some of the drawings so you can uh, see if you want to try to build one of these okay guys here's uh, the drawing, initial drawing and it uh, looks like it came out a little bit short uh, uh, I didn't. I thought it was bigger than this, but uh, I'll try to get this bigger. But you can see on this drawing, you know, here's the the pigtail that comes off it, and when you pull on this with the come along or the uh, the pulleys or whatnot, you can this tightens this tightens here and becomes like a basket. And like I say, that was about 48 inches from end to end this way, and I think it was about 12. And I can't read this right now, but and all these uh, steel pipes are, and you can use different pipes other than conduit. I believe they're six inch uh, in length each. And they're just spacers for the chains to keep your basket in line. So let me get the other drawing and see if I can make it bigger. Okay guys, uh, I did get it enlarged a little bit and it does show some of the other measurements on here like this cable right here is 96 inches I believe and this one is different eh, I'm, not, I'm not sure now I'd have to go measure my own but this is real long on mine I made it longer so I can be out of the way when I'm uh, when I'm doing uh, the pulls because uh, you don't want to break a cable or have a chain come flying at you so anyhow I hope this helps and I hope you try it uh, if you have any questions just drop me an email and I'll see that I get you an answer Okay guys, this is a basic uh, material list to build the boulder sling and it amounts to 60 inches of half inch EMT conduit, 44 inches of 5 16 chain, 158 inches of quarter inch steel cable, make sure it's steel cable, and 6 quarter inch cable saddle clamps. Now there's probably other things that you might want on there or think you need. Uh, you know, but this is just basic and you might want to make it bigger or you might want to make it a little bit smaller. Um, really doesn't matter. You can do that. You can vary any of these. Uh, just make sure you, if you're using cable saddle clamps, you put them on right. Uh, there's a, a certain way they're supposed to go on. Uh, other than that, you know, you just cut your EMT conduit to length. You cut your chain to length. Uh, uh, you cut your steel cable to length, and there you go, and you're done, and off you go. And uh, I hope this is something you can use. I hope it's something you build and try to use. So this is it for me. Okay, guys, like the uh, little clip says, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share with a friend. Subscribe. Ring the bell for future notifications. Give a great comment and definitely come back soon. Thank you so much for watching.